Well, well, what do we have here today, sir? Today we got an NA50 killer. All right. <laughs> You're an NA50, so NA. you kill you kill NA50s? Oh. Yeah. Pop ass. Yeah. Hold this for me. Pop says why he can't pop the hood? Just because we can't, bro. Oh, we can't. It's wrapped. Don't yeah, forget bro. to tuck your corners. What is going on, everybody? Drake Bell here today with another video. We are now pulling the homie Nick's engine because he had ringland failure, and we're gonna do his short block swap. So I figured, why not bring you guys a shop video? <laughs> <laughs> this car was already full bolt on and cams, and he was literally just doing some normal driving. I had some ringland failure, but he was dogging the shit out of his car on a bass tune. So I figured that's where the problem was running lean probably, ran hot, and then just popped it. So we got another short block OEM from Ford, complete, brand new. We're gonna reuse his heads, and then he's still gonna remain full bolt on and cams. It's time to get some real race car shit in this bitch, not some weird ass base model seats and his heavy ass steering wheel. It's time for some weight reduction, brother. Why are you taking off all the carbon fiber parts? That was the whole point of weight reduction. I gotta sell it, bro. Gotta sell it? <laughs> Let me show you guys the new short blocks just so you can see it in its full entirety. And again, the shop was already a mess. It's just how it is. When you work on cars all the time, it turned into a mess. The buyer had backed out of my Gen 1 long block, which sucks because if I knew he was going to fucking back out, I would have left it in that car so I could still drive it. There was no point in me pulling it. The only reason why I pulled it is because I had a buyer for it. Otherwise, I would have still had that in there while I built my new engine. But it is what it is. And of course, we have a GT350 up top, and we had another 350 yesterday that got picked up. We have my beautiful Gen 1. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I am in the process of ordering all the parts. I've spent like $24,000 on parts in this in the last week. So I have shit coming in, okay? Be ready for this build. It's gonna go fucking crazy. We will be Gen 1 King out here. I'm telling you, NA Gen 1 King, NA. Over here, we have his Gen 3 short block, brand new from Ford. Check it out. People were saying like, oh, why are you doing an Illuminator block? People were spreading the uh, story post, sharing it, saying it's an Illuminator. It's not an Illuminator. I'll show you the part number. This does not have part number. Here we go. There's your part number. For those worried about if it's an Illuminator, it's not. It's a stock, stock Gen 3 short block from Ford. This is the problem. This is the problem right here. It was on spray, brother. We are going to pull in his car and pretty much get started, have the engine out in probably another two hours. Same time it took that car to get it out. It's so easy to pull these engines. Hey, me? What the? Oh, ew, there's coolant on it. Ew. Here, toss it to me. I'm gonna kick it. Toss it to me. I'm gonna kick it. Oh my god. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, oh, you fucked up. You fucked up. All right, let's get this piece of crap inside. Over here, we have the scat pack. Looking rough. Waiting for Gordon to get his ass back here so we can wash it. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but trust me, it looks gray in person. Also, I destroyed my front lip even more. This is lip number four, so I have to order my fifth one. Look at this. Absolutely murked. And here we are. Let's get this engine pulled. Come on now. What are you doing there, brother? Popped engine vibes. Don't worry about it. This thing got a drip on it. No mamas. When it popped, he literally had just left to go pay something off. And he calls me. He's like, hey, my car's smoking and it's misfiring and there's no brakes. What do you think it is? I'm like, sir, you have lost a cylinder. That's it. You're done. Hey, which that reminds me, I think you might have used my last toe on AAA. So you're going to have to cough up some of that bread and butter, buddy. In all reality, um, a lot of my customers had actually not showed up today for their scheduled appointments. So we have time to pull his engine and get started on it. We're not gonna finish it here in this video. We'll do a part two, but today we're gonna get this one pulled off and pulled the engine apart so you can guys see it. So you guys can see it in full entirety. Also be ready for this build. It's still gonna be a twin turbo Gen 2 stick shift car. Kind of stick shift, kind of stick shift car. Be ready for it. It will be on the channel very soon as well. It's currently got my hood that was on that. He bought it 
and then he's wrapping his set in black. That drag wing used to be a My 5 as well, and it's been around like four different bodies. So that one's been passed around like a little slut. He has my parachute bracket, which I got for free, so I just gave it to him because I don't need this one. I'm gonna run a dual shoot on my car. And then he has a load, just a load of parts in his biddy. All the good stuff, man. All the good stuff. I also have my quad. If you guys don't know, I go to Glamis a lot, so this one's always fun to be in the sand. A little Raptor 7 hundo. Okay, okay, enough of that jibber jabber shit, man. Let's get this engine pulled. Got a super, super clean Gen 1 Boss 302. Super clean. He got the baby seat up front on the Recaros with suede. My lord, I love me a super clean Gen 1. On a 15, of course. Got a 275.60, same as me. Same tire, too. This is not the tire I'm running on my car, but this thing is badass. The car was running rough, so we're going to do some injector cleaning on it. Injectors probably clogged up. Damn, son, you on dumps right now? Right, meow? Look at all the oil from when you popped it. <laughs> all the oil. God damn, son. Now I know what you're gonna say. Why are you gonna let the calipers dangle? That's so bad, you're gonna rip the line. I've done this for years and never once had an issue. These cars are still so brand new. Like even on a gen one car, it's not a problem. I've done this literally for years and I will continue to do it. When that first cable snaps, then I'll proceed to zip tie. But on all my cars, all my customers' cars, I've never had a problem. These are not as heavy as you think. People over exaggerate and overreact. You're used to your 2000 Honda Civic that that steel braided, or not even steel braided, rubber line is so old and dry rotted that it's just gonna rip. This is not that, we don't have that problem. But this thing is damn near ready to come out. The drive shaft is removed. And then the shifter linkage is super easy. You just take off this pin off the little shifter and that's pretty much it. He already has a BMR K member, which makes this job way easier. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's ready to come out. I think we've been on this car for 20 minutes and it's about ready to fall out of this engine bay. Had to open up the bay, just get some air through. But look at the Gen 1, brother. The Bellix looks so good. And I also ordered my front Bellix. Shout out to at Rob 760. Sorry, at Rob underscore 760 on Instagram. The Bellic plug. I got my 15 by three and a half Bellic Series 2 to match the rear front runners. And then I'm going to order my Hoosier 26 by four and a half R15 tires. I wish they made a four, not a four and a half, but they do not. Four and a half is what I'm going to have to run. I was going to buy these Aluma Stars, but I think having Bellix in the front end there will look super clean. So I'm just going to spend an extra couple bucks to get those and have like a full set of Bellix. I think it's look badass. Make sure you put the owner of the car to work. What you got there, buddy? What are you pulling off? Those are for the trans cooler? Yeah. Damn. Oh, you're leaking a little bit, bud. Yeah, it's probably got, I'm leaking too. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. I'm leaking too. Look at this. All right, bro. All right, bro. That's my that's my segment in this video. That's my segment. I can fucking taste it. I can taste it. <laughs> oh, and I know that people think I goaf around and joke around too much. And like, what are you doing working on cars and stuff? When I work on cars, we're very professional. I like to have my fun at the same time and be lit, especially when it's the homie's car. We're just gonna joke around and goof off. When it comes down to actually building a badass car, we do it super legit. So don't take me as a businessman, as a joke, just me out in the wild roaming around. I just like to have my fun. So let me do me and have my fun. And then when it comes to work, I am very professional. Just keep that in mind. I should really use this thing more as well. This thing sits. I've had it since October and I've put 1,000 miles on this thing. She just sits, bro. And look at how bad it is. Badass, man. And I have a lot of fucking helmets. This is only like a third of my helmets. All the rest are at home or like scattered around the shop or wherever. They're just like all over the place. But that's like my prize piece right there. I also have everything for moto vlogging. I bought all the, everything I needed for the setup and I just still haven't done it. So if you guys want to see moto vlogs, comment down below if you want to see moto vlogs. I will definitely give you guys motorcycle content if you want motorcycle content. I also have everything I need for like a podcast setup. I bought my PCs, my monitors. I have everything I need to do podcasts. So if you want to see podcasts or like Twitch streams or whatever, comment down below and I'll give it to you. You just let me know. What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? What are you doing in here? Taking the, taking the banjo bolt. Why well, is not a banjo bolt? It's, a, it's actually a your mom bolt. Bro, 
Bruh. What does it look like? It's like some creamy frothing. <laughs> creamy froth? Oh fuck. Put on your chin. I don't Put any white stuff <laughs> on my chin. <laughs> I came into Leo's shop, which is next door to me. If he's on his PC, let's sneak up on him. He's on his PC. I'm gonna duck down, crawl up on him, freak him out. Come on, let's go. This thing's so clean. This is my brother's car. It's supposed to be at my shop, but I don't have enough room for it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Brother, what the f <laughs> Crazy. It usually works, but not this time. All right, boys, let's lift this car off. Oh, you're missing some wrenches right there, buddy. You might need those. You might need those right there. Your mom needs my and her. Lift her off, lift her off. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Pause. You see that? See that whack-ass fitment on your header, my boy? You're hitting the frame. And there we have it. A Gen 3 out of a Gen 3. Get her out. Get her the fuck out. Yeah, you drip that extra coolant on your fuel rail. Love that for you. This shit is such cake work, man. An hour into it. An hour into it. And this engine's pulled. Dude, you got oil everywhere. My lord, brother. I'll let you have fun with the torque converter. The four, I think, 13 millimeter nuts. Oh, man. You get to have fun with that. Oh, fuck. Spin right here. What the hell? Who cut your shit? Was that you? Yeah, bro. Ugh, brother, ugh. Brother, ugh, brother. I'm gonna stack you guys up and get a quick uh, time lapse of us stripping this bitch down. How to pull the Gen 1 outside. We're gonna pull out this 350. We have another customer coming in. So we're gonna pause on the Gen 3, pulling it all apart. And then we'll hop back on it after the customer's car is done. But just look at the Gen 1, man. My, oh my. That carbon fiber is glowing. And the rear end looks fucking insane. I love it. Don't worry, the trunk is open. That's not how it fits. We came to get snacks real quick. Sorry to interrupt the time lapse. But I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. I thought it was a pretty cool angle. Let's squeeze this with my sexy legs and pop that top. Oh. oh. All right, power. Look, check this out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sit right there and do what you were doing. Let's let the viewers see it first. Well, this. And you're asking what? What's up with it, bro? What's up with it? All right, power, come here and look at this. Come here and look at this. You know what that means, right? My boy, you dropped the valve. <laughs> so your head's gonna be beat up. Oh, brother. Grab a magnet. <laughs> oh no, it's more than just a short block. Oh, buddy. More than just a short block. <laughs> well, we we have a we have a cylinder head here. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we have a cylinder head here. Well, it dropped a valve, so it wasn't piston ring failure as we thought. Let's uh, inspect the cylinder head that we have. 
What happened? What? What happened? What do you do? No, no, what do you do? What do you mean? Like, Bro, you're gonna make him cry, like he's about to cry. What happened in the head? Say it. What we just said. Womp womp! <laughs> Now we do have two Gen 3 heads. They've been sitting in the open. These are pretty low mileage. They've been sitting in the open, so they're a little dirty, but nothing that we can't clean out. Oh, fuck, I gotta bust ass. Oh! Luckily, the heads cost about $753.99 per head, but that's not my cost, so we can get them a little bit cheaper, and then we'll put it on the new block. That sucks. It always happens that when everybody cancels on their appointments or doesn't show up, we get a bunch of walk-ins. So now look at what I'm doing. A nice carbon fiber steering wheel. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My fault. Suede with dry carbon fiber. Oof. My Lord, that looks good, brother. I like that on this wide body Challenger scat pack. I just ate Wetzel's pretzel, gas, and then I got frozen lemonade, strawberry lemonade. This shit's sour as fuck. Oop, there it is. Damn, that shit look good. Only took me about 15 minutes and we solid. Now, as for the homie Nick's car, what we're gonna do is take the engine and trans, keep it together and put it off to the side for now. We need to get him a new cylinder head, passenger side. So tomorrow we'll go to Ford, check out pricing. Now that we know he dropped a valve, which sucks. What? Drake has to pick that shit up because he dropped it, bro. Don't drop that dun dun Hey, don't drop that dun dun Don't drop the... Okay, bro. So let's get this engine put off to the side, and then we'll continue from there. Look who walked up in the building, Mr. Hellcat King. What's up, Let me see. Bro went snowboarding and fell. Just don't fall next time, bro. So that means... Aw. That means no more racing anytime soon, huh? Damn. Oh yeah, he he didn't just have piston ring failure. He dropped the valve, buddy. Yeah, yeah. We're about to pull off that cylinder head and see a valve chilling in there. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the piston. Yeah. Instead of giving them the entire core charge, we'll just keep that one piston. Give them give them your core. Not the J's. Well, it's off the K member, and engine engine and trans complete. We're gonna keep it together this way. It's not open to the elements. That head doesn't matter. We'll put a bag over it. This head's trash, the block is trash. We could probably still get this repaired and keep it as a backup, maybe get it ported and built or whatever, but other than that, it's just gonna sit on the back burner. And the trans, I'll keep it together. This way we don't get any dirt or elements in the converter. For now, we'll just stuff it with all of mine, with powers, spare parts, right over here. All right, the K-member and everything is back up and in. Everything's kind of zip tied up and out of the way so it's not dragging. And then he's putting on these stock wheels, my stock wheels from the Gen 1, just because he has this drag pack sold. He has his eyes set on another drag pack. I'm still waiting for this customer to come pick up his car. It's 7 p.m. and it's this bright outside. 7 p.m. But yeah, we've been here all day long. Got his steering wheel situated. He's been hanging out with us. I'm waiting for this guy to bring me his replacement cap because the studs snapped off on it. Now we got to push in this doink, that doink, and then... I think we are going to pull in my brother's car back into my shop so we're not taking up Leo's space. I know this one was like a little short. I think it was a little short, um, but you guys wanted more vlog style videos and I really enjoy making these videos. So I really hope you did enjoy these videos. Comment down below if you would like to see more. I will continue to do more. This is only part one of this car. Part two will be the engine build and I'll show you guys how to build a Coyote, how to time a Coyote. And then we'll do like a third video maybe of putting it all back together and getting up and running, doing some draggy pulls and shit like that. But if you guys enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.